I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen and today I'm going to teach you 14 better ways to say I don't know in English. First, let's take a look at the word I don't know. Most of the time when you're talking with native speakers and they say I don't know, you don't usually hear each of the words I don't know. They tend to be put together into an informal contraction and it sounds more like I don't know, I don't know, or just don't know, don't know. Many times if someone asks me a question and I don't know the answer, I might just say I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, which is literally I don't know, but in a very lazy native speaker way. Expression number two is I'm not sure. I'm not sure is another way to say that you don't know, but it avoids using the exact words I don't know. I'm not sure. And if you want to make it sound more polite, you can just add sorry in front of it. So if someone asks me what time the bus is supposed to come, I might say, ah, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. Expression number three is, it beats me, or just beats me. This is a more informal way of saying that you don't know something. For example, my husband asked me how much a stamp is in Canada. And my response was, a stamp? How much is a stamp? Beats me. Expression number four is, you've got me. This is very similar to beats me and is also an informal way of saying that you don't know something. Recently, a friend of mine asked, why are internet bills and cell phone bills so expensive in Canada compared to other countries? And my response was, you've got me. Expression number five is, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. If you want to make this sound even more polite, you can add the word sorry in front of it. Sorry, I couldn't tell you. Recently, when I was shopping at the mall, a woman stopped me and asked me if I knew the current exchange rate between American dollars and Canadian dollars. My response was, sorry, I couldn't tell you. Expression number six is, who knows, don't ask me. Who knows, don't ask me. This can be said as one expression, or some native speakers will actually use this as two different expressions. Who knows? Or don't ask me. Either way, it means that you don't know something, and they are informal ways of expressing the fact that you don't know something. Often, I use these expressions if someone is complaining about something and asking the reason why. For example, my husband might be complaining, why is our neighbor always so noisy? What's wrong with her? Who knows, don't ask me. Why do delicious restaurants always go out of business? Who knows? Why don't people pick up after their pets? Don't ask me, I totally think they should. Expression number seven is, I'm stumped. To be stumped means that you are kind of confused because you're unable to find the answer to something. For example, if I'm working on a math problem, I'm really terrible at math, so maybe I don't know the answer and I can't find the answer. So if someone asks me, what's the answer to this math problem? I'd say, I'm stumped. Expression number eight is, your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. This expression means that you're asking me the question because you don't know the answer, but I also don't know the answer. We both don't know. So whatever you guess is just as good as whatever I would guess because neither one of us know. Your guess is as good as mine. Recently, we actually had an election in Canada. Why did Justin Trudeau call an election in the fourth wave of a pandemic? Your guess is as good as mine. Expression number nine is, I can't remember for the life of me. Or, for the life of me, I can't remember. So this is a way of saying that you don't know some kind of information or an answer that previously you did know. For example, sometimes people might ask me about my schedule. My teaching schedule is different and crazy from week to week sometimes. So if someone says, oh, what's your schedule like this week? 
for the life of me, I can't remember, or I can't remember for the life of me. Oftentimes, when we use this expression, at the end, we might say, but let me check, or but let me get back to you. So in the case of someone asking me, what's your schedule like this week? I can't remember for the life of me, but let me check and I'll get back to you. Expression number 10 is, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. This expression could be formal or informal depending on how you say it. Casually with your friends, I haven't got a clue. To be more polite, oh, sorry, I haven't got a clue. For example, if someone asked me, what is the population of Canada? I'd say, ah, oh, sorry, I haven't got a clue. Expression number 11 is, I haven't got the faintest idea, or I haven't got the foggiest idea. Both of these two expressions have the same meaning and they both mean that you really, really don't know. For example, if I'm walking on the street and someone asks me, excuse me, where can I find a payphone? I haven't got the faintest idea. If someone asks me, do you think it'll rain this weekend? I haven't got the foggiest idea. Expression number 12 is, it doesn't ring a bell. It doesn't ring a bell. Usually we use this expression when we're talking about the fact that we don't know somebody or possibly that we don't know certain information that the person asking us expects us to remember. For example, maybe after a party, I'm discussing things with my friends and they say, oh, uh, who was that woman you were talking to uh, in the black dress? In the black dress? doesn't ring a bell. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I have no memory of this. I just don't know. The woman in the black dress doesn't ring a bell. Expression number 13 is, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. We can also make this a little more polite if we add the word sorry in front of it. Sorry, I wish I knew. For example, these days there is some construction because they're building a new subway line. And because of the construction, a woman was confused and asked me how to get into the station. And I said, ah, sorry, I wish I knew. Expression number 14 is, I'm afraid I have no idea. I'm afraid I have no idea. This is a very polite and more formal way of expressing the fact that you don't know something. I usually tend to use this expression with strangers. I'm afraid I have no idea. For example, I don't know every single street in Toronto. So if I'm going for a walk and someone stops me and asks me how to get to a certain street, Mm, I'm afraid I have no idea. Sorry. Usually in English, if someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer, it's better just to tell them that you don't know. And you can tell them using these 14 different expressions from today's lesson. However, there might be some cases where even though you don't know the answer, you'd like to guess at what the answer could be. So if you'd like to learn some useful expressions for guessing, please check out a lesson I've made about that over here. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, please tell me about a time that someone asked you a question, but you didn't know the answer. What was the question and what did you say to that person afterwards? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen Studio and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies and I'll see you in the next lesson.